we spawn, raise, and release about 30 million individual fish year in and year out. And what we had here today at Feather River in Orville is one day of operations where they'll spawn several hundred thousand individual eggs. They bring the fish up out of the, uh, out of the holding pens, they give them a little CO2 shock uh, to dull their senses and then uh, the salmon are manually spawned. They'll individually fertilize the eggs and then they go into an iodine bath, so we clean them. So it gives each individual egg, which is just millimeters, every chance to survive. Hatcheries for salmon came about mainly because once the dams were put in on the rivers, there had to be some way for the fish to still produce. And because the natural spawning habitat was gone, they put hatcheries into place to secure and sustain the populations and the runs. Well, what accounts for 99% fatality rate is we release the eggs in the delta somewhere and then you have to swim through the delta, out into the ocean, live for three years and not get eaten or caught, and then turn around and say, I need to go home. So it's, it's pretty staggering that any fish finds it's all the way, way all the way back there. It's not overstating it to say that if we did not have the hatcheries, there wouldn't be any salmon in the river. I mean, there just wouldn't. Salmon is king in California. It, it really is. It's such a huge historical and economic part of the state that there's, there's no reason to ever stop using hatcheries. They provide uh, hundreds and hundreds of jobs uh, by commercial and recreational fishing. And it's also historical. We have a moral duty to, to continue Chinook salmon in California, and we're very happy to do that.